For those wanting to work with guitar tablature, there are two handy templates in the solo section. This option uses both standard notation and tablature together. You can also manually add a linked staff at any point while working on your score. For example, here I've created a score containing only a guitar using standard notation, but I've since decided that I want to add a tablature staff too. To do this, I can go to the Instruments panel and click this arrow icon to show more options. Next, we'll click on this Settings icon and choose Create a Linked Staff. This adds a new staff to the score, but as you can see, it's also showing as a standard five-line staff with a treble clef. To turn this into a tablature staff, click on the Settings icon next to the staff you want to modify and select the drop-down menu under Staff Type. This gives us a wide range of tablature options. We'll choose the Tablature Six String Simple. Now these two staves are linked, meaning that when you enter notation, corresponding tablature appears on the staff below and vice versa. You can click on the tablature to make changes too. If I click on this note, which is being played on the B string, pressing up or down will change its pitch. Now I've changed it to a C, which is being played on the 13th fret. I can now press Control up or down, or Command up or down on a Mac, to choose the same note on a different string. Now this C is being played on the 8th fret of the high E string. If you want to write in the tablature stave, first select it and then press the Note Input button. You can now move the Note Input highlight up and down between strings or left and right between durations. You can enter a number or letter on your keyboard to specify the desired fret. When entering letters, A is for open string, B for first fret, C for second fret and so on. You can also change the duration by holding the Shift key and pressing a number on your keyboard. To enter percussion, click on the percussion instrument and press the Note Input button. Percussion works very differently to other types of note input. First, you need to select an option from this panel. In this example, I've selected the bass drum. If I now use my mouse to try and place a note, you'll see that no matter where I click, it's locked to the bass drum. You can see that the bass drum is using voice 2, which is positioning the stems downwards. If I now select this snare drum hit, I can quickly place it throughout the measure and it will use voice 1, where the stems are pointing upwards. You can also see that some of the most common hits have keyboard shortcuts already assigned to them. These allow you to enter percussion more quickly. It's worth mentioning that this percussion system has not changed since MuseScore 3, and we are intending to revamp it significantly in later releases. If you want to keep up to date with new releases and feature improvements, be sure to subscribe to this channel.